Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. I actually wanted to see if a uh, Clockwork Kazooie egg could make the fall from uh, the top of the mountain all the way down to the bottom and then walk around, but I didn't expect him to land in water. But as you can see, it looks like this guy can make it. Like, I honestly didn't expect this, but it looks like he is a brave little soldier. There isn't too much to explore over here, so... He wasn't fit for this world. Oh, hey, there's Wumba's Wigwam. Anyway, we were going to come up to the top of the mountain last time, but we suddenly ran out of time, because I'm being a little bit stricter on the length of my videos. And we hear annoying... So let's go up and see what's going on here. Alright, well, that leads down, so that's probably the wrong direction. I'll have to remember that for later, because I don't remember second place going down. Yep, it's a pterodactyl, all right. Give me back my eggs, you filthy light-fingered bear! Oh, well, what eggs are those? Don't play the fool with me, I want my eggs back! Or else what? You'll, you're due to become extinct soon anyway. Maybe so, but not before you two! All right, so this thing thinks we stole our eggs. Carry a disgruntled pterodactyl parent. So, she's just gonna barf at us and just dodge it. Fake out the barf. Switch to grenade eggs, because that's most useful in this fight, and just grenade her down. And then after you do that, she'll spit out these green things, which she'll start attacking. I'm off to rest, let the mucosoids soften you up. Alright, so these things move pretty fast, but they're pretty easy to take out too. The last one will always drop a honeycomb. Hey, where did all my snotty buddies go? <coughs> You've stolen them just like my precious egg. Oops, forgot to move. So yeah, the last one always drop a honeycomb just in case you need to replenish some health, so it's pretty useful. Alright, you run away. And there we go. Spit some more at me. Well, that one's pretty close. Oh, I guess this would be a good way to test out Kazooie's, uh, move, because these guys seem to relentlessly follow me. So let's see if they'll all relentlessly kind of walk into my fire. Come on. Come on. Whoa, shoot. It's hard controlling it from that angle. That's, you know, my story, and I'm sticking to it. It looks like she's just got one cycle left on her anyway. Six health, I can take that out in two grenades, I think. So yeah, she's a pretty easy boss. Definitely easier than Lord Wu Fak Fak. Though he was pretty easy to begin with, so... There we go. Stop it! I've had enough! Alright, we took down Terry. Unlike all the rest of the bosses, though, she's a good one. Well, actually, Old King Cole is pretty good, because he let me use the train, so... I tried my best, but I'll never get my eggs back from you now. We haven't got your eggs, Terry. You haven't? Oh dear, sorry about the rough stuff. That's alright, I enjoyed it. That could be an innuendo. Perhaps we could take a look out for your eggs. Would you? That's really nice of you. There are four eggs to find, which must be ready for hatching around now. Well, leave it to us, Terry. Please find my eggs before... Before, for me before I become extinct. I'll give you half the reward now and half later. Alright, so we got a Jiggy. So, we get a Jiggy from her now for beating her. To help you get my eggs back, I'll also let you use this. Alright, so after beating Terry, these eggs that you find are on the level that I actually never showed. Turn from white to kind of a blue-reddish one. And there are four eggs that we need to hatch, and it shows you the location of them now. One is there by the lake. One is in Oogle Boogle's cave. One of them... Well, I guess it only shows you where two of them are. So anyway, if we come down here before grabbing the jiggy...
we will fall into another Jiggy. So bounce back up, and then get this other Jiggy. Cool. So two, three Jiggies, well, two Jiggies for the price of one. Now before I forget, I'm going to come around here because I don't actually remember what's down the second slope over here. I'm sure it leads somewhere in, oh, it's inside the mountain. Okay, well that actually helps me greatly. This is kind of where I wanted to go next. Because whenever I play this game, I always forget that this Jiggy exists, or this place exists. So up here we have one of Terry's eggs. We can't get to this one yet, because, well, what does this say? Has someone been repairing holes in their nest recently? Okay. That's a hint to get the other Jiggy. Alright, so now we have to land pretty low. We have to land on this pillar in the middle. Let's see if I can do it. Nope, I guess not. Oh, I lost a lot of health there. Alright, we'll land on that pillar later. Um, or we could do it now. It's over here. Oh, it's a flight pad. Well, I guess we could have just landed in the water, saved us the damage, and then not even worried about it. Okay. So let's see. Oh, there's also springy step shoes over there for us to land on this. Well, I guess I just did it the retarded way. So if we land on this, we get Chompasaurus, the stomach-cramped carnivore. And he roars at us, kind of looks at us funny, sniffs us a bit. This scene here is in the demos of the game if you leave it running. Boop. And then he swallows us. How lovely. Inside his stomach? Can you hear me in there? I won't digest if you help me out with my little stomach problem. Do you want to hear what you've got to do? No, I'm pretty sure it's a, if it's a stomach problem, it'll be pretty accurate. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Alright, so... These things are in Chompa's stomach. He won't digest us if we help him out, so why not? As usual, reds are one, greens are two, blues are three. So I haven't actually seen any green ones yet. Oh, there's a green one. Uh, if you just kind of aim around like this, you can get them pretty well. Just kind of go around in a circle like this, and like, really, what are they going to do? I think I'm going to be in the more center of the map doing this. There we go, just kind of spin around, hit them. No problem. At this height, you can pretty well hit all of them. So, there isn't really any excuse for failing this. I mean, I don't remember how many points I need, but we're already at 85, so a 91. Pretty sure it's safe to say we got this, no matter how many points it is. Oh, that feels better. I swallowed this awful thing earlier. Thought it was a biscuit. Please take it with you when you leave. And of course, it's a jiggy. Do you want to play again? No. Your stomach problems are done. I fixed them, so you wouldn't digest me. I did a good job. Alright, so let's just follow his uh, stomach back up, call him some indigestion, and we leave out the mouth, and he dumps us back out, I think. There we go. Wonderful. So, another problem solved, another friend helped. Wonderful. Okay, what is over here? I actually don't know. Oh, it's a Cheeto page. Oh, I know what Cheeto page that is. I'll go get that one. So we are done in here for now. There isn't anything else we can really do. Um, actually, that's a lie. I completely and utterly lied. I completely forgot about something. Okay. So let's take Kazooie for a little spin. There aren't any notes in the water here, so you don't really need to go for a swim if you don't want to. Um, I just completely remembered that if we take this flight pad all the way up to the top, not all the way up to the top, but pretty close, we can hatch this egg here with Kazooie. So let's get on up. So using our new hatch ability that we learned, jump on top of the egg. Oh. 
Jump on top of the egg. Come on. Come on. There we go. Hold Z and press B. And Kazooie sits down and hatches the egg. That's one of my precious babies. Aw, isn't it cute? It sure is, Terry. It sure is. Alright, so she goes flying off into the ceiling. Not really knowing where that is. Okay, let's jump into the water. I can't survive from anything if I land anywhere other than the water. Alright, so there we have one of Terry's eggs deal done with. We can do, I think we can do only three of them for now. We'll take care of the other one because we need an upgrade to do the other one. Okay, so let's go ahead and leave this area because we're kind of done in here. I thought I'd be collecting jiggies a lot slower than I have been, but I actually have more jiggies than I originally thought I would by the second video of this level. Which is not really saying much, but it's you know, kind of not saying too little either. Alright, now we have to look for Wumbo's Wigwam, which... <coughs> let's just turn away from that ugly sight. If you guys are wondering what I mean, I'll show you a little bit later. And you guys who already, uh know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. Alright, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but that's a good way to land on this switch. The train station in Terry Dacty Land is now open for business. Oh. I'll save the jiggy involving that for next episode, because I don't think I can get the entire thing done in the next 8 minutes. Next episode will be dedicated getting one G and maybe another G in another world <coughs> all right we definitely need a health up so if we look to our left we find Wumbo's wigwam the mumbo statue in front of it for some reason this mumbo pad mumbo stand on it to perform great magic And up here, I think we have the Globo. Yes, I hear it. Here it is. Oh! Okay, so we haven't used either Globo in this level, so I think we should do that pretty soon. Um, I'm just going to come up here, because up here we have another Rock Nut member, which we need to blast using our powerful blast ability. And by blast, I mean, well, of course, a clock because we ain't. Just gonna get this guy first here. Because he will prove to be quite difficult. Alright, let's do this. And over here we have a little hole we can enter this little dude in. I usually end up getting this rock nut member last. Wouldn't recommend it because the jiggy can be hard to get with a clockwork kazooie egg because you have to hit, hit, land that twice. It's not so hard, but I mean, it's just kind of irritating, so I prefer to do it right away. And then while we're up here, let's enter into this little cave. Little cave. Let us enter the little cave. Inside the cave, we have a couple things to get. I think there's notes in here. Which I'm gonna grab quickly as Kazooie. Because Kazooie is faster at swimming under I can't see anything. Which way is Banjo facing? Oh, it's this way. Okay, this is actually really hard to see on my TV. It's so dark. Notes. I think there's five. Three. Okay, well I'm missing one, so. Let's see, where's the last one that I missed? There's one. Okay, how many notes do I have in this level? 65. Um... I think that's okay. I think 65 is okay. Alright, so this room is actually where we were headed. Because, well, it's the only room we can head. If we jump up here, there's a little side edge long we can do. And up here is a split-up pad. Now, what is a split-up pad doing all the way over here? What does this say? 
it's exciting in the Oogle and Uncle's cave. Okay, that's just telling you where there is an egg. Okay, so no, we don't want to be Kazooie. We want to be Banjo. Now, I don't think the people who made this game, because you're supposed to slide along the sledge all the way over to the other side. There's stuff you have to dodge, and then eventually you reach the jam jars thing over there. See that? That's the jam jars. But you have to go all the way over there, dodge this enemy and stuff. But, using that fun little thing I showed you earlier, kind of breaks this because you can just do your double jump up here. Easy peasy. No kazooie means space in your pack. A way to fill it is what you lack. Pick large things up off the ground. In they go and carry them around. That'll be all. So really useful ability. Uh, you use it to get a couple jiggies. It doesn't really serve any purpose other than jiggies because you don't really need to just put random stuff in your backpack because that's just not the way this game works. But there are some jiggies that require you uh, put some things in your pack. So just Z and C left and then you can walk around with your pack like that and just kind of grab things with it. And let's put that on. Okay, so we're done in the river passage now. All we have to do, well actually that, that was a lie, there is one thing we have to do. Uh, let's just go ahead, jump on the side of the river here, it makes this next part a little bit easier. And as you see there's a honeycomb piece up there, so along the river edge, just use your talent trot to run along the edge here. We'll grab the honeycomb, and then just jump down. Uh oh. And of course we'll fall down the waterfall and into the lake at the bottom. We've been to this lake way too many times. And there we have another egg. Of course we need to be Kazooie alone. I can't think of where there'd be any split up pads in the near vicinity. Hmm. Okay. Um, whoops. Whoa, that was unfair. Okay, now it's time to return to the... Yeah, that's right, you burn. It's time to return to the start of the level. Instead of going to the warp pad at the... Uh, the warp pad at Mumbo's place, I'm just gonna run straight there because... Well, it would just take me to the entrance of the world, which is over here. We're just to my right. We need to go a little bit further this time. Whoa, that's kind of scary. And over here to the left, we have the... Uh, I'll just let the text go because I can never remember how to say this. Alright, let's see. We have the Styracosaurus family cave. I, I always forget Styracosaurus. Gotta remember Styracosaurus. Okay, so this cave has many problems and in our next episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie, we will be solving every one of the problems of these people's family. I'm just going to go ahead and break that. And I need to go ahead and break this. Wonderful. Okay, so let's go up here and talk to Mama Dinosaur and see what's wrong with these guys. Go away, leave the grotty alone. Well, if that's how you greet visitors. Why are you so sad? My family isn't keeping too well. Now you've done it, Banjo. Just wait until you hear all the problems she wants us to fix. Look at my eldest, Scrat. He, he's very sickly and needs a doctor urgently. Which doctor? I don't care. Any doctor will do. I've heard there's a crazy shaman that lives on the clifftop who might help. Scrit here was out walking one day and came back this size. Now he's too small to be a proper dinosaur. Scrat has gone missing. I can't speed this text up at all. She took some money from my purse and headed off for the train station. So many problems. I told you so, Banjo. We'll see what we can do. Wonderful. It's nice to know not every character in this game is bad. Okay, so one last thing I'm going to do before I end this video off is if you saw in one of the cutscenes, there is a honeycomb piece directly up here. Got to do the the uh, bounce alone as Kazooie and we can reach it. Let's join up Banjo. 
Okay, so on the next episode of Let's Play Banjo 2, we we're gonna be solving this dinosaur's problems. We're gonna heal Scrat, we're gonna fix uh, Scrat, uh, Scrit size, and we're gonna find Scrat, wherever she may be. Which actually, we've come across her before, if you remember the look of these dinosaurs. Alright, so see you guys next time.